All right, so for the last piece of the um, uh, plan, you'll have to find a primary source. So the primary source might be the most difficult um, piece to locate for the project uh, because I want you to find something that was either created by the specific person you're studying or created in the era in which you're you know, interested in, in explaining further in your project. So if, say, you have a specific activist in mind, which you can't find anything that that person wrote, if you find something that the, you know, that was put out by the organization they were a part of, by an, a similar person in, you know, a similar economic position or um, uh, racial position as they were, you can use that to sort of contextualize their experience, that that would be totally fine. Um, so primary sources basically means something that was created in the era uh, in which you're studying. So is it a, it could be a written document, it could be a piece of music, it could be, could be an oral history, it could be a, um, a letter, a uh, piece of art, a um, piece of writing, anything. Um, if you do have somebody in mind that you are focusing on and it's somebody that you actually know, uh, you could conduct your own oral history um, and interview them about their experiences and then put those um, responses into historical context with all the secondary source research you're doing. That would be fine with me too. Um, and think about, you know, it, it, have in mind, you don't have to decide now, but have in mind what you want that final project to look like. So if you're thinking that you want to make something that's got audio or visual components, so say you wanted to do a podcast and your um, uh, subject of the citizenship story is like somebody that's related to you, recording them and then saving that recording to make it part of the podcast could be really, really interesting. So just, you know, keep that in mind as you're figuring out what um, kind of primary source you're looking for. Um, there are a lot of primary source collections online, and a lot of them are actually linked through the UCSD Geisel Library's um, website. So I've uh, linked to a few research guides um, in this um, prompt. You can look through them. There's tons of collections that are just focused on the civil rights movement. Tons of them have oral history components or audio components already. Um, there are also large accessible databases that have tons of digital materials. So the Library of Congress, the Digital Public Library of America, you will not find a shortage of resources <laughs> at all. Um, I think the 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 hardest part will be kind of honing down and seeing which one um, is going to do the most work for you for this particular project. So in this um, piece of the prompt, just write down in you know which which primary source you're thinking of using, and then explain in a couple sentences why you've chosen that one and how you think it will be useful. Um, and that's it.